When you run auctions, do you start them at 99 cents or 99 cents with a reserve or at a price that you think is fair and you'd like to get at least? Hey guys, it's Monday morning and I have 18 eBay orders to ship out. Let's get to work. All right, first thing I'm shipping out is right here. I went ahead and pulled this from my storage unit. This is a, uh, it's like a tea towel type thing you would have in your kitchen. I got this well over a year ago. Paid a dollar for it at a garage sale. Had it listed for like 20 or best offer. Someone sent a best offer of $15 free shipping and I accepted. Let's go next to viewer named Mark. Mark, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. All right, next is in B6 and I know I sold a number of things out of here. So I'm just gonna pull the whole thing. There's a lot of media I sold. Um, I think there's like some DVDs, some video games. So we're just gonna pull it all at once. First thing is a Nintendo DS game, Naruto. That sold for $8.99 free shipping. Next is Full House. Um, now all this media I picked up last week, I got as a big bundle buy. I paid a hundred bucks for, uh, and I started listing it and it started selling right away. This one right here is new in the plastic. That sold for $49.99 free shipping. Next is a Nintendo GameCube game, Freestyle. That sold for $19.99 free shipping. And this was going out to your name, Chris. Chris, thank you for the business. Really hope you like the game. Next is Pac-Man right here, another GameCube game. Uh, two games in here, there's Pac-Man, and Pac-Man World 2 that sold for $14.99 free shipping. Sold a CD, uh, Whitney Houston, new in the plastic. It's somewhere in here. Right here. Um, that sold for $8.99. I'm sorry, $9.99 free shipping. And the last thing I'm pulling out of here is a uh, Nintendo DS game, new in the plastic, Puzzle Quest Galactrix. That sold for $8.99 free shipping. Next thing's a bobblehead down here in C5 is CC Sabathia right here, new in the box. I got that in Cleveland about three or four months ago with all that die casts and different things that I bought. That sold for $9.99 plus shipping. If you're named Logan bought that bobblehead, he says, I'm a huge Yankees fan and have to pick this up before CC gets in the Hall of Fame. Thank you. Logan, thank you so much for the support. It means a lot. So one more thing out of here. It is maybe in this right here. Yeah, it's this Panthers, uh, Carolina Panthers, uh, Reebok pullover jacket. I got this a couple months ago at a uh, church sale for two dollars. It sold for nineteen ninety nine plus shipping. This is going to viewer named Alejandro who says he's a big Panthers fan. So thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Next thing I'm shipping is a DVD player right here. It's a Magnavox. Uh, basically new in the box. Has all the packing and everything. I don't think they ever use it. It's got the remote. I got this at a garage sale for five dollars. And I believe I sold it used. I didn't sell it new. Uh, and it sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is in C1. These are some Philips light bulbs. I sold the same lot of these last week. I had two lots of four. And this one sold for $17.99 free shipping. Next is down here in D6. It is a realistic portable cassette recorder. Picked this up at a garage sale a couple weekends ago. Got about $5 into it. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing I'm pulling is a football helmet right up here. This is a shut helmet. Nothing all that special, really. Um, paid $5 for it, sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And if I had to guess, it's probably going to be part of somebody's Halloween costume. I love selling sporting goods like that because they're so easy to find. You can usually get them pretty cheap. If you guys haven't been watching me very long, I actually specialize in sporting goods. I worked at a sporting goods store for a number of years, so I learned a lot of what's you know worth certain values and everything and what can sell well so i always look for sporting goods and i've made a number of videos over the years like what to look for with tennis rackets golf clubs baseball bats gloves like all that stuff so if you guys want to check those out i'll put a link down below for all my different sporting good videos of what to look for and what to flip and make some money on next is an e1 everything's in this bag right here this is a panasonic cordless phone set it's got a couple bases I only paid like $2 for this at a garage sale about a month ago, and it sold for $29.99 plus shipping. All right, next order has two items. First is a Barry Sanders glass in this box right here. I've got 25 cents into this. It sold for $7.99 plus shipping. And next is in C1. Same buyer got this Baltimore Orioles hat. I've paid a dollar for this. It sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Both of those items are going out. So if you want any Brent, he says, thanks, John, for all you do for the reselling community. O's fan here, and Barry was the best I ever saw. Brent and D. Thank you so much for the support, guys. I really appreciate it. Sold another hat back here in F2. This is a Ducks Unlimited hat, new with the tags. 
I've got just over $2 into this. I got it as part of a bulk buy at a garage sale. It sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Next is in B3. It's a little glass. I had it in a box with some bubble wrap in there so it didn't get damaged in there. This is a 1969 Cincinnati Bengals schedule glass. Not very big, only, you know, holds like four ounces as you can see. I paid $5 for this at a garage sale. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Last thing I'm shipping out is down in B5. This is something I just listed this morning. Luigi's Mansion for GameCube, uh, complete. And it sold for $44.99 free shipping. It's Tuesday morning. I have eight eBay orders to ship out. First is right behind me here in C3. It is a Teddy Ruxpin doll. It's not the um, original vintage one. This is a remake they made. I want to say like in the early 2000s. It's the doll. And then there's some books in here. And this cartridge and like book set. Um, I got all of this up in Cleveland with all that die cast and stuff that I bought. This sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Next is down at B5. I think I sold more than one thing out of here. Uh, first is Soul Calibur 2 for GameCube. That sold for $16.99 free shipping. Next game I'm pulling is Godzilla for the Wii. That sold for $26.99 free shipping. All right, that's it for B5. Next we're coming over here to C5. So this Zippo lighter, this is a Dale Earnhardt Sr. Pretty cool look to it. That sold for $21.99 free shipping. Next is in B4. And I sold at least two things out of here. Let's see. First is this Namco Museum Mega Mix game for Wii. That sold for $7.99 free shipping. I sold this Pokemon X for 3DS game. That sold for $27.99 free shipping. And that is it for B4. Next thing I'm pulling is this big CD storage tower. Let's see if I can pull this down here. I got this at a garage sale. I guess it's been about two or three weeks. I paid $5 for it and it is new in the box. It's still got all the original pack packaging and everything. And it sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Last thing I'm pulling is an E5 just listed this this morning um where is it at here we go ncaa football 13 that sold for 17.99 for shipping it's thursday morning i have i think like 16 or 17 ebay orders to ship out um i didn't ship anything out yesterday because i was out of town doing some sourcing i bought some video games that i'll show you guys uh but yeah i gotta get to work today got a lot of stuff to ship out and before i do that i got a couple questions i want to answer first is from map other what are these stickers so i'm assuming they're talking about these stickers that i throw in with purchases so a lot of times somebody will make a purchase and i'll read their message and they'll say can you throw in some stickers and i always say yes and these are the stickers they're talking about they're three inches by three inches and every time somebody buys something i throw in two stickers but if you don't want to buy anything in my store and you still want some stickers let me know my email is down below and i'll get some sent out to you Next is from Mike Izzo. When you run auctions, do you start them at 99 cents or 99 cents with a reserve or at a price that you think is fair and you'd like to get at least? Um, so my train of thought with auctions, I talked about it in a previous video. I only run auctions if I can't figure out what I think the like actual price is that I should list it as a buy now. And also if the item has a good demand so that I know people are gonna bid it up. So every auction I do, I start at 99 cents. And I make sure that it starts or like is going to end um, at night, usually like 8, 9 p.m., something like that. You don't want auctions to end like early in the morning or middle of the day. You want people to be home and on their phones or their computers and have a chance to bid. So you want to like do yourself that favor when you're running an auction, set yourself up for success. Um, a lot of times like a weekend night can be good too. It can help you. So that's what I do. And I always started at 99 cents no reserve because if people see that there's a reserve i think sometimes it could uh slow bidding um i just like to put it out there and i have a really you know pretty good success rate with it i'd say nine times out of ten when i run an auction it brings really good money it's a pretty small chance that i'm going to be disappointed with what the auction price is going to be all right first couple things uh, i went ahead and pulled this is this was in my storage unit this is a starbucks 
Tennessee mug. So many Starbucks mugs do okay. When I bought this one, I thought it would have been worth more. I paid two dollars for the garage sale. It sold for eleven ninety nine plus shipping. This right here, you guys saw me pick up a couple weeks ago. I found two of the same sweater, like back to back weeks. That was really weird. Um, it's an Ohio State sweater. It's got the script that the marching band does. Paid three dollars for this and sold it privately to a viewer for thirty dollars free shipping. You already Mike got that sweatshirt for his wife. So Mike, thank you for the support. Really hope she likes that sweatshirt. Next thing I'm pulling is an E5. I have a feeling I sold more than one thing out of here. I know the first thing I sold is this Mario Sonic at the Olympic Games uh, Wii game. That sold for $8.99 free shipping. I sold this glove right here. This is a uh, training glove. It's flat because it's meant to teach kids to catch with two hands. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. I sold a few patches out of here. Those patches I got at that schoolhouse sale last weekend. Let's see, I sold the New York Mets, St. Louis Cardinals, and Chicago Cubs. Each one of these sold for $11.99 free shipping, and two of them are going to viewers. Caleb bought the Chicago Cubs patch for his son Noah, and Danny and Parker bought the St. Louis Cardinals patch. Guys, thank you so much for the support. It means a lot. Okay, I sold another game out of here. Uh, not that one. This one right here, Super Smash Brothers Melee. That sold for $47.99 free shipping. All right, that's it for E5, so let's put that back. Next thing I'm pulling is this Ouija board. Um, I got this as part of a bulk buy with some records a guy threw in. So thank you for that if you're watching this. Uh, so I don't really have anything into this. It sold for $17.99 plus shipping. This is down in B5. Once again, I know I sold more than one thing. Let's see, I know I sold this Naruto Clash of Ninja for Wii. That sold for $8.99 free shipping. Okay, next thing I'm pulling out of here is this game right here, Turok Evolution for GameCube. That sold for $11.99 free shipping. Sold a book out of here. I think I already bagged it up. This is the old Union Terminal book I just picked up at that schoolhouse sale. Got about $3 into this. It sold for $15 plus shipping. That book is going on to your name, Andrew. He says, thanks for the deal on this. My dad and I went to Union Terminal a few years ago and love the Art Deco architecture. I'd appreciate a shout out to my flipping store, Oregon Goods, and a sticker if you don't mind. Wishing you the best to you and your family, Andrew. Andrew, thank you so much for the kind words. I'll be happy to throw in some stickers for you. All right, that's it for B5. Let's put this back. Next thing's in B3. This is a woman's Harley shirt. Got this at a garage sale about three weeks ago. I've got a dollar into it that sold for $21.99 plus shipping. Your name Matt bought that shirt. He says, big fan of your channel. I've been selling on eBay part-time for a number of years now. Always looking for more knowledge on things to flip and your videos are great. Thank you, Matt. I've been perusing your store off and on and finally found this shirt that my wife loves. If you can shout out my eBay store, that would be awesome. Karn's Closet. If you can spare a sticker, we'd love one. Thanks, Matt and Lori. Matt and Lori, thank you guys so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Next thing's an E3. This is a Manchester United uh, track jacket and pants set. This was in part of a bulk buy I got last year, actually. I've had this for quite some time. So I probably only got a couple dollars into it. This sold for $29.99 plus shipping. Next thing is an E4. This is a Brandon Phillips bobblehead I got for a dollar. It sold for $8.99 plus shipping. Next is in B4. And I think I might have sold more than one thing out of here. So we're pulling the whole bin. First thing is Sonic Unleashed for the Wii. That sold for $8.99 free shipping. Just kidding, that's the only thing out of that bin. So we'll go ahead and put that one back. Um, I did sell something out of B6. Possibly more than one thing. Uh, let's see here. I know that I sold this. This is Ultimate Muscle for Nintendo GameCube. That's sold for $119.99 free shipping viewers marina and carlos bought this guys thank you both so much for the support really hope you like the game all right next thing i'm pulling is a hat down here in a6 i believe it is this wake forest hat let me double check my list in here uh no clemson tigers all right there it is clemson tigers new with the tags i've got a dollar into this it's sold for 9.99 plus shipping your name Keith bought that hat. He says, great hat. Looking forward to getting it. Thanks for everything that you do for the reselling community. I've been watching your videos for well over a year now, and I've really learned a lot about what to look for when out at garage and estate sales. I've been reselling on eBay for a couple of years now. Tried starting a YouTube channel almost a year ago, but gave up when COVID hit. I'm trying it again and would appreciate a shout out. KND Flips is the channel. Thanks. Keep it up. Keith. 
thank you so much for the support and I wish you nothing but the best of luck with your YouTube channel. All right, next thing's in C9. I gotta get this giant box out of the way first. I really need to just take this to my storage unit, get it out of the way, because it's not doing me any favors being in here. Okay, C9, I sold a Dorbs. Might be this one right here. Uh, yeah, Magneto. That sold for $5.99 plus shipping. Your name Martin bought that. He says, hey John, my name is Martin. I've been watching your channel for a few months now and I love your content. I've been a reseller for a little over two years and I absolutely love it. It's fun, isn't it? I'm located in the Central Valley in California, 45 minutes from two major cities. So I'm fortunate to have a lot of yard sales and thrift stores near me. I started with just three items in my store and now I'm close to 400. But anyways, keep up the good work and if possible, give a shout out to my eBay store, Marty Padil 23 I'd appreciate it. Martin, happy to give you a shout out. Thank you so much for the business. All right, just a couple more things we're pulling down here in C6. Let's see, I sold this Midway Arcade Treasures Xbox game for $8.99 free shipping. And I sold Super Mario 3 with the owner's manual and a sleeve for $19.99 free shipping. All right, guys, it is Friday, end of the week. I've got about 14 eBay orders to ship out. First thing is in B2. This is a U.S. Army hat. I've got a quarter into this. It sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Next is an E4, and I'm pretty sure that I sold a number of things out of here. Uh, first thing I'm pulling is Tetris for Game Boy. This is part of that video game buy I just made. Let's see. Somewhere in here. I know it's got the manual and everything. Here we go. It's got the little case, the manual. Uh, that sold for $11.99 free shipping. Next thing I'm pulling out of here is uh, a Game Boy. It has a couple games, some manuals. This was fully tested, works great. This sold for $59.99 plus shipping. And that same buyer also got a Tetris game. Let's see. A different Tetris game. I got it in A2. This one also had the case and manual. This also sold for $11.99 free shipping. Those two things are going out to a viewer named Corey. He says, Hi John, my name is Corey. My brother Chad and I are longtime viewers of your YouTube channel and would like to thank you for being such a great inspiration to us to start our own eBay store part-time six months ago. Our eBay store is Bros Be Flippin'. It's a pretty clever name. I like that. We hope to someday grow into a successful business and do this full-time. Thanks again so much. Keep up the good work and fun videos. Corey and Chad, thank you both so much for the support and I wish you guys nothing but the best of luck. All right, next thing we're pulling out of E4 is a Super Mario Land game. Uh, it does not have the manual, but it does have a case that sold for $14.99 free shipping. Let's see, I also sold all these PS3 games in here. I guess I can just, you know, we'll just pull the whole thing out. Got about $5 into these. I decided to just make it one big lot. Uh, these sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Your name Michael bought those PS3 games. Michael, thank you for the support. It means a lot. All right, that's it for E4. So I'm going to close that up. Put that away. Next thing is in D7. I think it's just right here. Yep. This is a Freddy Night at Freddy's Bonnie Funko Pop. Um, I just got as part of a book buy. Unfortunately, it's damaged. You can see the damage on the corner, so I made sure I pointed that out. And it definitely hurt the value. I think if this thing was mint, it might be worth between $25 and $30, but as it is, it sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Next is a lot of Blu-ray movies. Um, right here. I've kind of been hoarding up random DVDs and Blu-rays for a while and just decided to do a lot of them finally. There's 22 Blu-rays here. They sold for $29.99 plus shipping. All right, next is in C6. I know I sold a couple things out of here, so I'm pulling the whole bin. My neighbor's being pretty loud out there, so I apologize about that. Um, I sold an NES game, Ninja Turtles, right here. has a sleeve in the manual that sold for $13.99 free shipping. Your name Derek bought that game. He says, hey, my name is Derek and I'm a fan of your YouTube channel, which inspired me to resell on eBay. If possible, could you give my eBay store a shout out? It is Chappy75. Derek, happy to shout out your store and thank you so much for your support. Okay, next thing I'm pulling out of here is an Xbox game. Uh, let's see. What is this one right here? Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, um, complete with a manual that sold for $13.99, free shipping. And the last thing I'm pulling out of here is a Cincinnati Reds hat. Kind of has a cool like silhouette of the uh, state of Ohio. This sold for $16.99 plus shipping. Next thing's in C3. It is a military patch. One that I got in that big lot of patches at that garage sale. It's this one right here. I got 50 cents into it. It's the US Air Forces in Europe. This sold for $14.99 free shipping. Next is over here A3. 
This is a set of uh, four knives and a cutting board I got as part of a bulk buy. Got about a dollar into it, sold for $8.99 plus shipping. If you need Maureen about those knives for her daughter-in-law, Maureen, thank you so much for the business. Really hope she likes those knives. All right, last order I'm pulling has three items. First is an F3. This is a uh, signed baseball to Chattanooga Lookouts, and there's two other signed baseballs we're pulling for this order. This is in C2, also a Chattanooga Lookouts ball, and last is in C4. This is a Drew Stubb signed ball. Um, these, I had them listed total for like $30 plus shipping. Um, buyer offered me $25 plus shipping, and I accepted. If you're named Charles about those baseballs, he says, Hi, my name is Charles, and I've been a fan of your YouTube channel for a while now. I'm also a huge Cincinnati Reds fan, and I can't wait to get these balls. Thanks for the joy you give me and so many others. Good luck and stay healthy. Charles, thank you so much for the kind words. I really appreciate it. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.